I graduated in uh, electrical engineering in 2000. I did a short stint in telecommunication and then started my journey in the aerospace sector, more specifically in the defense and security domain within CAE since 2001, so 20 years. I've had several roles. I started as a proposal manager, then a project manager, and now I am a senior capture manager. And I'm super proud to be part of CAE, who is known as the worldwide leader in civil aviation, defense and security and healthcare. So I've been always interested and driven towards science and math since, since I was a kid. In fact, early in my college time, I was, uh, I was provided the opportunity to visit CAE and got a tour on the CAE simulator. And I was, I was astonished, I was blown away by the, what we stand for, by the, uh, the, the mission that CAE represents of training pilots in a safe and high fidelity environment. So if you look at that, it's really, uh, at, there are multi-facets or multi-aspects that, that CAE uh, takes to heart. And it's, there is a humanitarian aspect of safety. And there is also the crazy intense technology. And to me, this was what attracted me to the aerospace sector and more specifically to CAE. I would say this was the trigger. My main role is to be the main point of contact to the customer. So I bridge, I am the bridge between the organization and the customer. And in essence, I lead the strategy to ensure that we win the opportunity leading to contract award. My greatest achievement is my ability to bring together people from different backgrounds, varying opinions, and come together as a team. And this comes really from the interpersonal soft skills that makes you a better leader. I would also say that one of my key strengths is the analytical capacity of, of integrating and linking multiple aspects of a very complex program and understanding the intricacies and the dependency within it. So the, the aerospace industry is going and is going, has been going and is still going through tough times as the current in the current circumstances of the pandemic. And I would say it is the right time for for people to go into the aerospace uh, sector, go study in the aerospace trades, as this the sector is really expanding into new horizons. So we're looking at various new ap approaches to, for instance, unmanned vehicles. Uh, air taxis flying at low altitudes where you would need um, a new, new technology around air traffic management and control system. Uh, there are also great opportunities in, the, in greening our, our aerospace sector. Uh, for instance, we are, there is a huge initiative, especially within Canada, uh, around the electric aircraft domain. This is really a great time to be part of the sector and contribute to the future, to a better and greener future. So the aerospace uh, sector is very much male dominated. And I would say that the defense and security industry is even more so male dominated. So, of course, I've had many challenges throughout my careers. And, you know, I reflected quite a bit on this. Uh, I took the time to think about ways of how do I deal with these situations. And I realized that I cannot control what, you know, what I cannot control. I cannot change people. So what I need to do is focus on myself and how I perceive myself. And in doing so, I worked on my confidence and, and put away my insecurities. And that made me, by default, more, more successful. I would like to say to young women, be yourself, know your worth. We need you. You are important to us, and I know you can do it.